Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about the action of alkalis on metal oxide. What do we mean by a metal oxide? The name itself indicates metal oxide which means that it contains metal and oxygen, right? So how are metal oxides formed? When metals react with oxygen, it results in the formation of metal oxide. So when are metal oxides formed? When metal reacts with oxygen, it results in the formation of metal oxides. Let's take an example to understand this, right? So here I have magnesium metal which reacts with oxygen resulting in the formation of magnesium oxide that is MgO. Now friends, generally these metallic oxides are basic in nature. Because if you take a metal oxide and dissolve it in water, metal oxides on dissolving in water react with water to give you base and so we say that metal oxides are basic in nature. Metal oxides react with acids resulting in the formation of salt and water and so we say that metal oxides are basic in nature since they react with an acid to give you salt and water. But since there are some metal oxides and hydroxides, for example metal oxides and hydroxides of zinc, lead and aluminium which are said to be amphoteric in nature. What is amphoteric? Amphoteric means that these metal oxides and hydroxides have acidic character as well as basic character. Let's understand this in a better way, right? So as I said, amphoteric oxides or hydroxides are the ones which have both the characters that is acidic character as well as basic characters. So these amphoteric oxides or hydroxides react with both acid as well as base resulting in the formation of salt and water. It means that when an amphoteric oxide reacts with an acid, it itself behaves as a base to give you salt and water. And when an amphoteric oxide reacts with a acid, and when an amphoteric oxide reacts with a base, it itself acts as an acid to give you salt and water. Let's take an example for this, right? So here I have a metal oxide that is zinc oxide. Now as you can see over here, zinc oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid. That means here the metal oxide is reacting with an acid. And what do you get? Salt that is zinc chloride and water, right? So here we can see that we have the metal oxide reacting with an acid to give you salt and water. So here since the metal oxide is reacting with an acid, here zinc oxide behaves as a base. Now here you can see that the same metal oxide that is zinc oxide reacts with a base that is sodium hydroxide to give you salt that is sodium zincate and water. Now here you can see the metal oxide that is zinc oxide react with a base which means that here zinc oxide behaves as an acid. So here in the two examples we can see that zinc oxide when it reacts with an acid it behaves as a base to give salt and water. And at the same time, when zinc oxide reacts with a base, it itself behaves as an acid resulting in the formation of salt and water. Now since zinc oxide, that is this metal oxide, it behaves as both an acid as well as a base and so it is said to be an amphoteric oxide. So amphoteric oxides are the ones which have both acidic character as well as basic character. Let's take some more examples to understand this, right? Now here I have zinc hydroxide, right? Zinc hydroxide as you can see it reacts with an acid that is hydrochloric acid and what do you get? Salt and water, zinc chloride and water, right? So now here as you can see this metal hydroxide that is zinc hydroxide it reacts with an acid to give me salt and water. Now since zinc hydroxide reacts with an acid it behaves as a base over here. Similarly when zinc hydroxide, that is the metal hydroxide, when it reacts with a base, that is sodium hydroxide, it results in the formation of salt, that is sodium zincate along with water. So now you can see over here, zinc hydroxide reacts with a base and so it itself behaves as an acid. So now here in these two examples, you can see that zinc hydroxide, when it reacts with an acid, it behaves as a base and when it reacts with a base, it behaves as an acid. Which means that zinc hydroxide has both acidic character as well as basic character. And so we say that zinc hydroxide is an amphoteric hydroxide. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.